Uh, it's another time that we are meeting this semester uh, so that uh, we can continue with our blocks. Remember, for every semester, we have to check what uh, our students uh, were examined in the last semester. So this time, I would like us to look at uh, November 2019 sitting. We see what the examiner expected from our students. Again, next semester, again, you we'll check what the examiner expected of you. So for now, let's see what the examiner wanted from our students in the last semester. Uh, we'll we can generalize and see what... Uh, uh, we have a, a general overview of what uh, the examiner uh, expected from us. For instance, question number one, it was simply about incomplete records, taxation of business income. Remember that is our first topic in our syllabus. When I see question number two, it will see something to do with the VAT and the public finance. Remember that is under uh, public finance, especially PPP. Uh, public-private partnerships and uh, also tax investigation matters to do with the VAT. Question number three, the examiner also repeated the taxation of business income whereby he examined insurance companies. So how to compute the taxable incomes, how to deal with the circles and what. Question number four, Again, the examiner repeated taxation of business income, where we have taxation of property developers and contractors. And at the same time, we looked at uh, also the theory of taxation. Uh, question number five, in general, it was about public uh, finance. So I would like you to note that uh, the way our syllabus is wide, especially in first topic whereby we have uh, uh, especially in the first topic of taxation whereby we have taxation of advanced aspect of business income the examiner also examined a lot in that particular topic because we can see like in three questions the examiner repeated uh, taxation of a number of uh, forms of businesses so for today i would like us to start with question number one uh, we see what was expected from our students. And uh, this question covers uh, three parts. That is part A, which was a theory, part B, theory again, and part C, which is about uh, uh, computation. So let's start with part A. So uh, that is November, November. 2019 question number one we start with part a and it reads like this examine four reasons for the increased importance of information exchange programs in relation to taxation among various countries so we refer to this as tier tier remember at the tradition of cross-border activities, there is a smaller subtopic that we discuss about TIA, Tax Information Exchange Agreement. What does it mean? This is a system that is implemented to help in exchange of tax information among different revenue authorities. For instance, if it is Kenya and Uganda, so we tend to exchange tax information among uh, among the, uh, between the two so that uh, we can achieve certain goals. For instance, there are those people who work in foreign countries and they do not disclose the, uh, uh, the income they earn from abroad in their home country and that creates a room for tax evasion. But with such a system whereby the revenue authorities or different governments are sharing, then we try to address like such a problem of tax evasion. And again, you also find that uh, it tends to boost the level of revenue. Because for those people who are not disclosing their income, then the government will be able to get such income, tax them, and therefore raise more and more revenue. So our question here is, eh, the reasons for the increased importance of information exchange programs. So why do we have increased uh, uh, 
important. So reasons, uh, reasons for the increased, increased importance, importance of information, information exchange programs why do we have in, uh, increased importance of exchange programs number one we are simply saying is to address the problem of tax evasion to address the problem of tax evasion simply because some of these persons when they move to foreign countries we are saying and they generate these incomes they do not disclose it in their home country for further tax and obviously we know in many countries we have double taxation relief so you get the foreign income then you disclose it in your home country it is taxed but we give you a relief for instance of what you paid uh, abroad Reason number two why we have these programs is due to influence of multinational cooperation due to influence of multinational multinational corporations corporations influence of multinational corporation remember these are companies that are operating in more than one country and therefore we have an effect we are going beyond the border so that influence have has made uh, uh, many countries now to increase the importance of uh, these information exchange programs still uh, also we experience this due to transfer transfer pricing transfer pricing uh, influence or effect influence or effects transfer pricing influence or effects still uh, the reason why also we have this program is for timely tax assessment timely tax assessment timely tax assessment with these programs we will assess people to tax uh, as soon as uh, as possible and or immediately which cannot create any delay and therefore we will be able again to raise more and more uh, revenue the other reason is due to increase due to increase in mobility mobility of capital capital froze there is a, a lot of movement there is high movement of capital from one country to another and therefore again due to that you'll find that uh, we need to understand more and more tax information uh, exchange programs so that uh, we can facilitate again the same or we can go with the same same pace uh, those are some of the reasons that have contributed to that. So let me move to part B.